Hello friends, welcome back to school management system in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to make a grade system like a examination inside we have did like a new menu mark grades after we have added like a b c d e f means a grade add edit delete like a percent from percent to like this we have did. So in this video we can continue same part suppose I can go mark registers ok suppose I can choose the like exams and I can choose the class. So you can see it here like a grade C like grade C, grade D, grade B, grade B, grade D, grade A and grade D and after we need to show overall what is the grade by the percentage wise because we add like here percentage from to percentage to these reasons. Okay. So same thing we need to do is teacher sides, parent side and student side. So let's first make a like a teacher side. So it's a simple copy paste work there. So no any issue, just I log in this user, I open the private windows because I don't want to close like a admin, this reason I am opening the private windows, just open and I log in like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I press the enter and after I need to go my exam mark registers and here I can make like a, choose the exams whatever is the exam there, after I click on the search. So no any exam there, this is the, so I just go to SS2, let's see, okay, here is no any student there, so suppose I go to my students, so my student is a student 1 there, so student 1 is a like there, just go back again, SS2022-2023, so just we need to go back again, 2022-2023, so this is the exam and we need to choose like part time, so we can get the data about the student 1, because here is this part time, you see. Okay, now we need to show here like a grade. What is the grade we have received? Same as the admin said what we have did. So just go to code, resources, inside views, inside need to go admin, inside we need to go examination, inside we need to go mark registers. So this is the admin, but we need to also need to go like uh, teachers, teachers inside we need to go mark registers. Okay, just go down. And here we are here we are getting the total student marks. So let's go down here. You can see it like a, so just go to admins and I go down and I just copy get percentage like a like same thing. We just need to copy and I just move to up. We don't want to move down. So just move okay downs. No issue. Get percentage. Yes. Just we need to copy and we need to paste inside uh, here so just we, we don't need this one also we don't need this one just we need to copy like a get grade function like a mark grade models inside a get grades because we have already created suppose i go to these models so you can see it like a percentage greater means a less than is equal to and greater than is equal to. whatever inside there we need to back the data inside a mark grades so you can see it here you can understand this video so you can need to learn like first video so you can easily understand this is the part two okay so just we need to back again and we need to copy and just we need to put here after percentage and you can go and back and search because we already passed here one parameter like a percentage and so 100 percent works let's go back again refresh the page not here teacher sites so you can see it like a grade c you see same thing in the we can check in admin side so also showing the grade c same thing we can do here okay so just go back again and go to mark register is the admin works means admin side and copy this line and just go up and here is already there just paste here and here we have make like total marks so here you can see like total marks whatever received a student means uh, this is the marks like 20, 20, 10, 12. So what's the total? 62. So what's the percentage we need to show here? So we are passing like a total marks here. So we can get for this percentage. I already show you. I can show you again. You can go to mark grade models. Inside we have made like get grades. Okay. So this is the percentage we need to show bottom. So just we can copy again and put after passing mark whatever page do, place do you want to make so you can do it okay i just make a year passing marks so let's go back again and we have just make a, this variable we have print here just go back again refresh the page 
so you can see it like also you can find out the grade d b same thing there is the admin side and same thing here there is so just you can see d b b d a d so same thing you see d b b d a d okay this is the like a copy paste work so not taking time so now we need to log in as a student account the student side we need to show grade so i just log out and i log in as a one student account so just go to student list and i log in as a like a student one at the rate test dot com one two three four five six after i need to go my exam results once i click on the exam results so you can see is a grand total there here is a percentage there here also result there so let's go to code and we need to find these files in the student inside you can see it like my my exam results here is a very clear i explain before just we can make like this the 2 and here we can change to 3 okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it now percentage and results so we are we need to set percentage to grade so simple just we can change like a grade okay and this is the value i need to put in one variable so dollar php and php and instead i will create a one variable like a percentage is equal to same thing whatever you are passing this data like a uh, this data i just copy and i can put here and this is the variable we need to pass inside a so you can see it inside round rounds because we need to make like a, we don't want to show like a big words after point so you can see like percentage let's go back again refresh the page i hope no issue so no issue is working very well so let's make here like grade system so just go back again any files like admin side as a teacher side just you need to copy this line and put bottom here and here you can get get loop grades you are getting just you can pass here like percentage so automatic you can get a grades just change this ones and just you can print out here i just refresh the page now so you can see c grade but i just need to remove this sign like percentage sign i need to remove so look like better you see grade c here also grade c because 70% is here is 73 3.5 percent. So here showing the grade C. Also, also here showing the grade C. Because we ever made like one calculation. This is the whatever percentage I received. I will pass inside a one parameter inside a get grade function. So just go inside and you can make here query about the mark grade and whatever received the response. This response is going to back and we need to print here this response. Same thing we need to do now parent side. So here also done. Okay. So let's go to parents accounts, and I need to log out as a parent account. So just let's go logouts, and I log in as a parent account now. So I copy this parent, and I just add a password one two three four five six. Just go to my students, and here we need to pass like exam results. So just we need to show same thing. So it is very easy. Just need to go your parents' sides, like uh, my exam results, and here we already made a validation. Just go back again and just copy this line and paste your line. And here you need to change because it's the same thing. Bottom there, same thing here. There, just you can change this line to here percentage. and after we need to add another line like a grade just put here and here you can change calls man 3 because now we don't need a 5 because we already put about two this reasons okay so just go back again refresh the page for the students so you can see it grade automatic found so is a grade system i think done because i will show every place so examination module inside we have done lots of thing like a registration after we need to show results submitting data how to submit the data i think everything is done 
now to start new module i think we can start like fees module so how to make a payment for a student student how to make a payment otherwise parent how to make for this student payments we need to do lots of thing so i think next module we can start like a payments otherwise i can think okay this is the module is a very good otherwise some people ask me some student ask me about the like a uh, queue system so we can do is a queue system but let's make a one by step by step everything so it's good for you and good for me so in this video i have explained how to made a grid system and a grid system we have made a two video first video and right now i am working second video so i think it's done do you have any question so please comment and do you want to like this channel so please like the video and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching